So today I'm going to do a quick card for the, the Happy Challenge card sketch for June. So I'm taking from this that the card is actually folded in on itself. We've got a couple of circles and some floral. So for that effect, I'm going to grab a craft card and I will fold it in to meet itself, like I have here. So it's just a case of finding your centre, finding lining up the pages and using the, the tool to just crease your lines to get that fold. So to get the circles I've taken three circles and used tape to stick them together to create and cut and this is the final result of using just the one page which is out of the Kaiser Craft Paisley Days 6.5 paper pad so I've grabbed a sheet of the green paisley and placed those there and the result is one large Cut out circle, embossed both edges. One for this, a set, another one which cut that finer, and then this one. The other option could have been that I just left, just had those two, and then there would have been a larger circle, but then it wasn't going to do what I'm wanting it to do. So this is why I chose that. So I'll take this out, put aside my die cuts. So from the pad I've taken Oh Happy Day and two other sheets which I'll cut down and place one here, one here and then I've taken some of the magnolias from the die cut ephemera pack from Ultimate Craft Collection. So to do this I'll need to Grab, decide which way I want those to go. I think this way would be suitable. And what I generally do is place it here and just give it a little pencil mark where I want to cut from both. And remembering that I'm having a bit of a border, so you just give it a little bit of a border there. And those cuts I'll cut on my Crazy Craft Cutter now, and that should cut both out. I think they're about. I think they're, they are the same. I'll just double check that. Yes, it looks like they're both the same. We'll see now. So grabbing the Crazy Craft Cutter. It's probably it is my favourite cutter at the time. I'm actually just going to turn over my cutting mat here because it's actually got an indent here and it wasn't cutting well when I used it yesterday. Easy to do and I've actually got a replacement anyway so which is good. Now I just need to find where I've marked. Make sure both pages are even. Line up the pencil mark. 
first cut, put those aside, then line them up and find if I can find the next one, did I or did I cut it off? Interesting. Oh, it is there. I just can't see it. Again, there, oh, there it is. That's why I couldn't find it. It was right nearly down to the bottom. Here comes the rain again. And cut. And just put these aside. These are great to use in your journal pages or even on other cards. Put that aside. So grabbing this, I'm going to put the dark on my right hand side. In fact, that ended up being almost yes, perfect cut. Fits. So I won't get a border, so that's alright. I'll just place that on. Grabbing some double sided tape. I'm only going to add two pieces. I used to put heaps more and everything like that, but I've watched so many other artists that actually don't, so can't be wrong. Oops. Crinkle the page, clever dyedy, and just peel. And if you're not sure, you can actually place that down with that side not sticky line it up line it up as you're bringing it down making sure it's where you want it probably not it's okay I'm going to take that off now you can always trim this if you've gone over anyway so which I've done previously in other cards let's see how it went just a little bit over. I don't think that one's an issue. That's at the bottom. Just a little bit I can cut that. So that's that piece down. And now I'll do the same on this side. It's a very simple, easy card. I wasn't going to do anything too ambitious. I'll be honest, I'm not a big massive card fan. I make cards for my grandchildren. I will make cards for a card swap because otherwise I'll end up with excess like I did when I was actually selling via a market. I've actually got a pile of about 20 cards which I'm slowly going to give away. Or if they're any good I will use them myself but um, you can ask my family. I'm, I'm not a big card giver. and. But kids don't understand that, so I try to remember to do theirs. I've actually got to create two more cards for this month. I've just sent my first one off to my eldest grandson today, and then I've got to create one for my youngest grandson and my youngest granddaughter. They both, their birthdays are next, I do believe. My better off taking it at the top as that's where that one is. Line up, line up, line up, and line up, and press down. So that's the effect I've got on the front. One just sits over the other. Okay, so now my reasoning here is to place the larger circle and to hold it onto this page so it will be there and when this opens this will come with it. so I'm going to add some glossy accents as this will be all that will be able to hold it on I don't think double sided tape is I haven't got any thin enough and I think it would be rather tedious trying to put that on so I might actually just grab a little brush 
and just spread that a bit so I actually don't have oh that one's still got paint on it right not to sketch Nappy white I'll just clean that up off here and a paper towel to dry my glass I use a glass hardened glass on my as my desktop surface so I will now place down a hip of is that edge there that will place in the center with just gluing to the darker side well that's what it ended up being it was going to go the other way but this is where I'm at so. right that's there so now I'll open that and lay that there now I'm going to grab the second circle this one I can use double sided tape on as it's a larger surface to work on now with this finished card if anybody would like it please come to my Facebook page like and share the actual photo of this card once it goes up and you will go into the drawer to win this card and I'll mail it out. It'll be free of charge. She's just going to shut that and it's actually I'm gonna have to do it this way because I've actually put too much tape on. shut this it goes through and that's the effect not quite what I was after it actually should really come this way a bit but I've made a mistake with the sticking so that's typical of Dighty make mistakes but you get the gist of where I was heading with that I think now I'm going to place on the florals this one, I'm actually going to see if I can lift that in place. Nope, that's not going to work there. It's smaller than I was expecting. So I might just put a flower there. I might cut off the stem on this particular fussy cut piece. Okay. I don't think it matters that it goes over because this does come back this way so I'm going to add some double sided tape to left down Concentrating on taking the double packing, backing off, and which way I was having it that way. And I'll place that there, push that down, and I think we can set that one there cover that mistake I made there. What do you think? Yes, that will work. Might just again cut that one off. It's a larger flower. So it didn't hasn't quite come out to how I planned.
the reason I press down the double sided tape is so it actually is stuck and that's a lot easier to take the back end off then. still works. Now where did that wording go? I had a pet wording to add. Where did it go? It's not there, there. Too many. Oh, that's disappeared. Ah, oh, there it is. I'm just wondering, a happy day. Still works. Yes, I might actually add some ink around the edge of that. So, have I got a green one. Just going to stress that round the edges. Okay. I'll make sure you're going to add some glossy accents to this as well. Probably could have added some, I wonder if I should raise that, I can actually still do that, I might just take that off. Some pre-cut double um, bones, I'm going to stick that on the back of this circle instead. I hope this live recording works a little bit better. Um, it's not easy to remember while you're, when you do a longer one, what you've done. And all you can do is basically read what you've got in the background. So I thought I'd actually do a recording of voice while I was actually completing a project and as the card is only a small one I thought this was the perfect opportunity so I'm actually going to centre that into that smaller circle so it balances that. Yeah, that works there. Now, does it need anything else? Is there enough flour do I think? Because I've got two small, I've got two other flowers I could add. Yes, that would look nice there, but I, don't, I think that's all I'll need. And I might actually add that on a bit of fine as well. And at the moment, the only thing I can see missing <laughs> is liquid pearls, and I'm actually not going to add it to this project. sure it's not in that way and there right okay so that's my take on the card sketch I will on my back which I do to all my cards turn it over I'm going to add one of my black swans which I have cut out with a silhouette machine and I'm going to write Cabagonia on the back and then cut them. And just add some of this zigzag glue to the back just to stick that on there. Fourth of June. Oh, actually, also add a date stamp underneath. Complete. So, thank you again for watching my YouTube channel. If you like some of the work that I do, 
please press the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you and have a great day. Take care.